During the Vietnam War, the Hmong soldiers and airmen served bravely alongside U.S. soldiers and saved thousands and thousands of Americans in South Vietnam and Laos. During the 1960s and 1970s, the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency recruited the Hmong to fight in the secret war in Laos against the communist Patet Lao and the Vietnamese. However, in America's withdrawal, we left many of these loyal allies and their families. Since taking office, I have worked with my colleagues in the Congress to acknowledge this wrongdoing and work to educate the public about their contributions and honor your service and their service. In 2015, I introduced a resolution to declare July 22nd the Lao Mong Recognition Day to recognize the bravery, sacrifice, and loyalty exhibited by the Hmong people. In 2017, Hmong veterans were among hundreds, uh, among the hundreds my office recognized as one of the several pinning ceremonies to recognize Vietnam era veterans. Here today, again, I wanna thank you all for your service and for your patience for this recognition, which has been a long time coming. In the years following the war, many Lao Mong emigrated to the U.S. and now proudly call America home. Our community and our nation are lucky to have you here as friends, neighbors, and colleagues. This year, my office submitted a funding request to support the construction of this national memorial. The National Lao Mong Memorial will be an expression of our country's appreciation for the service and support of the loyal and freedom-loving Lao Mong people and will serve to educate, inform, inspire visitors now and for generations to come. And we're very fortunate to have the mayor of Westminster, Anita Seitz, a, um, a city councilman, Rich Seymour, from uh, the city of Westminster, their Parks and Rec uh, director, Johnson, uh, because we will locate this national memorial just a few miles from here in the city of Westminster Park. I also want to thank uh, Josh Zeigelbaum, who is here. He's a clerk for Adams County, again, where the memorial will be located. We have generals, we have uh, council members, we have clerks here to honor uh, this memorial and to honor the Lao Mung for their service and sacrifice. I will continue to push for the funding for the memorial, but I'm pleased to be here today as the first step of this significant project. And I would like to thank especially uh, Yang Chi, who Bill Holen, John Haran, and so many others, uh, it's hard to name everybody, who took this project under you know, their authority to get it done. And we've been working on it, I'd say 15 to 20 years. But it is coming to fruition because of their work and the work of so many. As part of the National Defense Authorization Act, which um, we just passed from the House to the Senate, I helped secure an amendment to make sure Hmong veterans who fought in the war can be buried in VA national cemeteries. You served us. You should be able to rest in peace in one of our cemeteries. It's your cemetery now too. Thank you very much. The effort to ensure the Hmong soldiers receive the recognition and honor they deserve will continue. I thank you again for your service and your contribution to our community and to our country. Before the wind kicks up anymore, I will wrap it up and say thank you for having me here today. And I look forward to continuing to stay involved in this project. And again, I want to thank my friends, Bill Holen, Yang Chi, John Haran, and so many others for their vision and their hard work to imagine and inspire what will be a wonderful memorial.